Hello guys, Mathematics right here, also known as Chris Larson Entertainment, and welcome to this mini tutorial in GIMP 2.10 uh, where I'll show you how to make a clipping mask. Which, if you don't know, clipping masks is what's used to overlay images or color over texture shapes um, with relative ease and little hassle, and particularly with rounded objects without any aliasing if you were just going to directly fill in the color if you needed to change it for whatever reason. So, we're going to start by creating a new layer. Next up, we're going to create a new layer, uh, which we're just going to call layer here, and we're going to create a circle. So we're just going to create a basic circle like so, and we're going to fill it in. Now, make sure that the color of the circle or the shape or text you want to use is white or it's not going to work. So ensure that you've got the white color selected and then fill it in. So now if we hide the background, you can see we have our circle. So next up is we're going to want to create the fill color that we want to overlay the circle. So we're going to create a new layer and we're going to change the color to a nice little green color for, for the tutorial. So and then we're going to fill it in. Now to solve it, this is no trick. I'm going to deselect this the circle and fill in the whole color color like so. Okay. So next up is if you click down here, you'll see there's no clipping mask opposite. So what we're going to want to do now to get the clipping mask is to create a new layer group and drag both the circle and then the um, color we want to fill in the circle. And make sure the fill co color is on top of the circle so that's, this is the hierarchy you want or it's not going to work. So next up we want to make sure the fill color is selected and we click on normal and change the mold to multiply. And as you can see, we have now created a clipping mask. Now this is as versatile as if it was on Photoshop. So we can have multiple layers set to multiple layer group. And it will work just fine. So we're, I'm just going to do a gradient. And so as you can see, we can just create a gradient circle. Well, and if we selected this again, it will just create an alias around the circle. So as you can see, it's a very versatile tool called as I would think it's just as easy to do now in GIMP as it was to do in Photoshop. So if we actually select the circle now and move it, we can see that that it's that the background is not moving around with the circle and it's easily changeable like so. And there you go guys, that's how you create a clipping mask in GIMP 2.10. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and also learned something from it. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.